So for all instruments, warming up is important, but for brass instruments in particular, it is critical. Uh, because playing brass instruments is really a physical endeavor, utilizing muscles in the face um, that typically aren't used, um, brass players do need a period to warm up every single day. Um, there is no one set way to warm up, um, but I'd like to prescribe um, a three-step process that at bare minimum um, we do. Um, and that's combining breathing work with mouthpiece work with some basic fundamentals on the instrument. So for a breathing exercise, um, we'll run through it. We're just gonna do um, some uh, four counts in, four counts out. Those four counts out will, be include, will include some sizzling with them. So breathe in. We could certainly do some other exercises as well, but this prepares my body, reminds it of what deep breathing feels like. Next, we're gonna go on to some uh, uh, mouthpiece work. And there's gonna be two exercises that are part of every day's mouthpiece work. First is some long tones. Second then is gonna be some sirens. Uh, so for today's long tones, we're gonna do eight counts sustains, four counts off, eight counts sustain, four counts off. Ready, one, two, three. Happy with that attack? I'm going to redo it. Two, three. The next thing we're going to do is put it onto the instrument, do some long tones there. Again, this is going to be a chromatic sequence. Um, because I'm warming up, I want to make sure that I'm playing in a comfortable register. I'm going to start on my concert F, trumpet G, and I'm going to work down chromatically. Eight counts on, four counts off. Two. Now I'm going to move on to a Remington series. Uh, this is part of my practice every day. Even if I don't have enough time to do a full warm-up, this is going to be something I focus on so that I'm centering my pitch. Um, in this case, I'm going to do a half note pattern uh, as we go, starting on F, descending down to B flat. Please play with me. Three.
So I've noticed that I have some instability in my aperture today. Um, if I'm working through this, I go back and revisit some of my low, long tones to make sure that I've got that stable sound. Um, the last thing I do in every single warm up then is some sort of a lip slur activity. Um, this is a great time to improvise a little bit, um, taking the fundamentals of lip slurs and playing around, creating a pattern that you can replicate across the fingering pattern. Now I noticed that my G was a little stuffy, I'm going to revisit that one. continue that exercise through. The last thing I'm going to do is something that gives me a little bit of finger dexterity. It might be something like um, the agility exercise number one that you have in your book, which is from the Clark Etudes. Don't like the way that started. Noticing my fingers aren't real happy this morning, so I might isolate out a couple of those passages. And then move through other keys. It's critically important that we go through a warm-up sequence that includes initial tone production. Uh, long tones are great for that uh, on both mouthpiece and on the trumpet that has some lip slurs in there to build that flexibility and build that strength, and then something to get the fingers going um, as we play through it. Um, please encourage your students to have a fixed pattern, and for your young students, give them a fixed pattern uh, that'll work for them. Essentially one out of each of those categories, a long tone, uh, a lip slur, and a finger dexterity exercise.